Hey everybody, Mr. Ranger Engager here, and uh, wanted to talk about some college stories. Uh, going back to my freshman year, um, it's pretty interesting. I had a very interesting roommate. Uh, I can definitely say he's one of a kind. And uh, when I say interesting, uh, I'm being uh, a little sarcastic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean. Whenever I first met him, he seemed like a typical guy and all that stuff. But as time went on and uh, we got to, you know, mingle around with everyone on the floor, uh, me and my uh, roommate across the hall started to realize that he liked to uh, take control of conversations and stupid shit like that. Like, if we would be talking, he'd just come out of nowhere and just make some real random stupid remark, you know, make, uh, you know, make the whole thing more awkward than what it already should be. So it was kind of weird. There would be this thing called uh, the move trip where we had to, uh, you know, pick certain spots where we wanted to visit near the school and, you know, it gave us a chance to get to know some people. And this guy somehow somehow finds this chick or uh, chick finds him and they just like you know hit it off like like crazy like we see them <clears throat> always chilling with each other and shit making things so awkward like I remember one of the days where I just randomly come in my room and then uh, he's chilling in the chair and she's on his lap and they're watching something some movie I think it was and I'm like seriously like, what the hell? Anyways, um, in the end, like, he eventually broke up with her because she was pretty crazy. She was trying to, uh, get him to meet her parents, which is ridiculous. So, that didn't really end too well. So, by him having this whole chapter with this chick, you know, we kind of got an idea what kind of person he would be. And... His reputation didn't change. There would be this one Asian chick that would uh, eventually come downstairs and hang out with us. And uh, she eventually got to know uh, my roommate. And uh, within three days, this guy somehow uh, gets her to sleep with him. Uh, so, which is pretty crazy. And it just made it so awkward for me and everyone on the floor because they're always together. You know, it's like, come on, it's just, just too much. I mean, if they were to at least make it Facebook official that they're together, you know, we would know, you know, to kind of give them space and stuff. But it's just, it just wasn't like that. I remember one night, um, going to sleep, and he never really liked that I, I snore that much. So he would always turn me over to the side, which, you know, it was cool. But uh, the next morning, uh, I woke up and uh, somehow she's uh, in his bed. And I realized that they were actually having sex, which was pretty ridiculous while I'm in the room. So I woke up and uh, I didn't really move. I had my eye touch next to me and I actually uh, I sent uh, my roommate down the hall a text saying that I can't believe I'm in this situation and then uh, we both laughed at each other after the whole thing was over. Uh, it's just crazy. But uh, they eventually realized that I stopped snoring because obviously I was up. So it got even more awkward and uh, honestly I don't even remember what, what happened after. I believe I just got up and uh, and acted like I didn't know what was going on. But anyways, uh, that's just part one many college stories uh, I'm going to have to share in the next upcoming weeks. On a side note, um, I realized after that patch, they really screwed up the FAL. Uh, it's really, really tough to use uh, with select fire uh, without a grip. So I realized that having a grip has definitely improved my accuracy. And... Um, Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Take care, everybody.